all right guys welcome to how it's designed this is going to be my first youtube video on this channel about breaking down the coolest some of the coolest solidworks designs and sketches so for our first episode here we got a hand grenade that's primarily made up of just two main parts so let's go ahead and get into it so starting with the main shell of the grenade we're going to give it a cast iron material and just by looking at it it might seem like a pretty weird shape but you're going to see that using that blueprint sketch picture we brought up earlier um, there's an explanation for these strange curves so if we go back to sketch one this is the whole key to the thing right here. We go on Google Images and we bring up a blueprint of the hand grenade so that we can get a rough idea of the contours and profile of the body. It even gives us a overall length to set the object to. So once we have this imported into SolidWorks, it's gonna make our job a lot easier. So starting with a main sketch that's going to set up the first revolve, you're going to see how we're going to use this sketch picture effectively. Let's turn this on. So if we shell this in half, normal view, you can see that all we're going to do for the first sketch for the revolve is we're going to Follow this contour here for the outer shell of the grenade, like so. That'll make things much easier. Now, once we do that, all we have to do is select that profile and revolve around the central axis. Now we have our first to scale revolve. Moving forward, we're going to set up the Flying cutouts on the vertical sides to get that serrated shape like shown here. So what we're going to do is do a triangular cutout on this surface, this face here, and then we're going to use that to do a swept cut as our second feature like that. So if we open this up, we have this triangular sketch as our profile and we have, oops, this outer spline as our path. Hit okay, now we've got our swept cut. We're going to pattern it. Looks like some sort of fruit now. And then our horizontal cuts are going to be using that sketch once again. If we do a normal two. You're going to see that we're using the picture to get these cutouts for the second revolve cut. Right here. Hit OK. And <clears throat> that'll give us most of the work for the body. Add some fillets.
for cosmetic looks and we're already finished that's all that goes into about for the body so let's take a look now at the head of the grenade where the pull pin and igniter is located um, we're gonna make it a steel material and we're gonna use that same blueprint for some of the contours so we're gonna show this and our first revolve feature we're gonna use the picture to outline this center shaft with these lines here following this path and then we're gonna do a Revolve, selecting that profile, 360 degrees. And then next we're going to draw sketch five, which includes the igniter and these sketches up here for the head. And we're going to use the picture in the background to do these spline curves. So once we have all those laid out, we're going to begin doing boss extrudes of different widths to make each component stand out. As you can see, we got the igniter extruded mid plane about quarter of an inch next we will add some fillets and then we're gonna make this sketch seven here just align in order to select those two points for a plane for our pull pin on that plane we're gonna sketch this outline here which is gonna be part of the pin that the ring attaches to here we are going to then Extrude it out, selecting that profile about a sixteenth of an inch, and then we're going to add some fillets. And the other half of the pin will be on this face, oops, on the other face. So that's our that's going to be our pin. Now it's time to do the pull ring that attaches to the pin. So we are going to add a plane on this surface here. And then using sketch 10, we're gonna draw a circle through the midpoint of this ring, draw this tangent line using the picture again. And we're gonna sweep that, just a circle profile along that circle path for the ring. Now, you can see that the ring is interfering with this feature, so we have to move it out a little bit. We're gonna select sweep one and hinge it about the line in sketch 10 that we drew tangent to about 30 degrees upward so that it's out of the way hit okay 
And then we're just left with more fillets. And that's about it. All right, now that we have both parts done, let's assemble this bad boy so we can throw it. All right, so we're first gonna mate the, get rid of this, do a concentric mate with the body and this shaft here. to do a parallel planes we can lock it into position Like so. And then all we gotta do is a coincident mate to make it butt up against each other. And there you have your completed hand grenade. This is my first video of how it's designed and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Share it with your friends, like the video, subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos. And once my website get, gets launched, check out howitsdesigned.com for bonus videos and some cool downloads for you guys. So stay tuned. Thanks.